Well, now, let's see. The time is 14 and a half minutes past 8 p.m. here in New York. And right now on Times Square, the taxis and the limousines are pulling up before the Paramount Theater, where Judy Garland's picture, A Star is Born, will within this hour have its gala East Coast premiere. In the lobby of the Paramount right this minute, there are many notables from the film industry and a number of theatrical personalities from the East Coast. Among the latter is our own Jinx Falkenberg, armed with a microphone. So... We switch you now to Jinx Falkenberg in the lobby of the Paramount Theater. And right here at our microphone in the lobby of the Paramount Theater, I have the author of the screenplay of A Star is Born, Mr. Moss Hart and his very beautiful wife, Kitty Carlisle, who has a curtain problem tonight, haven't you, Kitty? Well, I'm in a terrible hurry to get to the Broadhurst Theater to ring up the curtain on anniversary waltz, and I'm furious because I can't see A Star is Born. And I hear it's the most exciting picture that's ever been done, and Judy is at her topmost best. That is show business, though, where the wife goes off to one theater to be on stage, and the husband sits in the audience of another watching his movie on screen. <laughs> Moss, I'd like to ask you, in show business, which is more exciting, the birth of a star or the rebirth? Well, I suppose the rebirth of a star, really. Uh, I don't know why that should be. I've never been in at the birth of a star. Have I? I don't think I have, no. And I wouldn't exactly call this Judy's rebirth. I suppose most people are calling it this, but Judy is one of the most gifted, one of the most gifted women, well, most gifted anything I've ever known in a long show business career. When you wrote the screenplay for A Star is Born, did you know that Judy was the star? Oh, indeed. Uh-huh. They couldn't have afforded my salary otherwise. <laughs> You watched a star reborn, really, in your Lady in the Dark on Broadway with Gertrude Lawrence. And I wonder, uh, is there any similarity there between Gertrude Lawrence and Judy Garland? Yes, there is. Uh, Ellen Terry said this once, and actually, actually, it's true of Judy and it was true of Gertie. It's that little something extra. This must be Judy coming, huh? Oh, God. Take over and narrate this I'll get away. Judy Garland is here. You don't want me. Oh, Moss, wait. I do want you. I'd like you to come here. Come here for one moment. Would you explain, Moss, the line that you have written in in, uh, A Star is Born that explains a star and the role of a star? A little something extra. And that's from Moss Hart. Moss! Moss! <laughs> Hello, Judy. How are you? I'm fine, darling. How are you? A nice kiss to from see Judy you. Garland. We're, this microphone is leading all across the country. Really? On an NBC uh, network I've show. Never... A tribute to you, oh, oh, darling. Oh. I hope I deserve it. I, I, I'm, I've, I've never been so happy, and I think feeling that I'm back in New York is the best feeling in the world. Palace Theater isn't far away from here, you know. <laughs> You're looking very pretty tonight. Judy, you are are sensational in red satin with a red sequined hat on top. Look, Sid and Sid Luff, your husband. Hi, Sid, how are you? Look, Judy, can you concentrate for one moment on this question of all the people who have helped you the most? Uh, to whom would you like to say thanks? My tonight? old man, Sid. <laughs> I can't thank anyone but him. He produced the picture and did everything for me, and he's the one who deserves all the thanks. I have to be honest about it. Has your daughter Liza seen it yet? She's seeing it tomorrow afternoon. Now, I wonder, Judy, what advice you would give her about show business and about going into it. Would you discourage her at all, or would you just no. say, go ahead and have no, a wonderful wait time? She's a little bit older, though. She has to get through school first. <laughs> she's here, and so is the little one. She's here tonight? No, no, not tonight. Oh, no, I know she's no, in, New York. in New York. Yeah. But you wouldn't do anything to, to discourage it, though. There are wonderful moments in, no, the, in show business. I wouldn't discourage it, but I would advise her to wait a little while and go into it when she's a little older. Wouldn't you, darling? Yes, I would. <laughs> but after all, you went into it when you were, what, all of... That the, doesn't make 12? any difference. <laughs> it's a marvelous night. I've never been more thrilled. I've never been more overwhelmed than tonight. Judy, there have been discouraging moments in your career. When you were very young and you auditioned, didn't you, many times? Yes. When you were a young yeah. little girl and a singer? Yes. And what 
And weren't you ever discouraged then? Oh, I've been discouraged to... lots of times, so that doesn't mean a thing. <laughs> Tonight's the most wonderful thing to think of. A star is born. Thank you very much, Judy Garland. Thank you, Jinx, darling. Thank you, Sid. Thank you, Jinx. And I'm dying to see the picture. Can't wait. Everybody wants Judy. <laughs>